vast majority of translanguaging scholars never use the term code switching. Now I have used both and I did a great deal of work on code switching. So I do feel a little bit responsible for some of the confusions uh, out there. Now the two terms came uh, from very different views with assumptions about language and multilingual language users, language and cognition that are almost at the extreme ends. Um, translanguaging scholars see language as an outcome of the dynamic meaning making and sense making process of languaging, which should not or cannot be reduced to codes. So that's really important. Uh, and translanguage scholars also do not believe there is such a thing as a switch in the human brain that is responsible for alternating uh, between named languages. And indeed, there is no scientific evidence for such a switch. So if you look at the standard uh, literature on code switching, it's primarily structural or functional analysis of how the different named languages are juxtaposed together and what functions code switching serves in different contexts. All of that is very interesting uh, and very valuable, but translanguaging focuses on something quite different. It focuses on meaning making and sense making by transcending the boundaries between named languages and transcending the boundaries between language and other semiotic cues. Mm -hmm.